Nice to meet you. This station is very different from Barrow. Uh, my name's Basil. What's yours? Oh, uh, have a nice day then. Ah, you must be Basil. Well, let me be the first to welcome you to the island of Sodor. You'll be working with Judy and Jerome today. Then later, you'll have to collect supplies from James. Hello! It's an absolute pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about this amazing railway and all the work you do. I'm very excited to get started. Oh, look at him, Judy. Isn't he sweet? Tell us, Basil. Have you done a construction job before? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I usually just send trucks back home. I'm sure they had lots of construction-y things in them. <laughs> and don't worry too much. You'll have us to help you each step of the way. All you have to do is ask. If you're not careful, you're going to knock the tree down, Casey. Well, Megan, that's why I am being careful. No harm in collecting a few apples. What are you even going to do with those? We can't exactly eat them. They're not for me. Casey, for the last time, you can't keep a squirrel as a pet. Oh, the new engine's here. Yes, he is, isn't he? Oh, hello there. My name's Basil. You must be Casey and Megan. I've heard all about you, power crew. That's right. Welcome to the Peel Godred Electrification Project. Right, everyone. This is Basil. I'm sure you'll get acquainted in good time, but because of Duck's incident, we're a bit behind schedule, so we don't have time for chit-chat. We've got the station to finish up, and we got to set up the lines for the station throat by the end of the week. Basil, we're relying on your strength to keep the project moving. Yes, uh, of course. Well, I wouldn't say I'm that strong, but I'll do my best. Well, if your best is what you did to get us up here, then that should be perfectly fine. Right, team. Let's make Sir Topham Hat proud. Make Sir Topham Hat proud. I hope.
Judy, the flatbeds are empty now. Are we done for the day? I think it's time for that special job the foreman talked about this morning. Oh, right. Collect supplies from James. Back in a tick. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, right. Sorry. Something don't add up about that Basil. What do you mean? He's brand new. Don't know a thing about power lines. Yet everyone is putting their faith in a little dinky diesel. Sounds like a lot of eggs in one basket to me. You would know about baskets. And what about now? How does he already know James? He just got here. There's no way he met another engine. Well, he is taking over for Duck. I already like him better since he doesn't order us around. And I'm sure the foreman or someone told him about James's delivery. I know way more than him. I am part of the power crew. I'm electrifying. Why don't I get the important jobs? You want to pull a train? Twist my words all you want, Meg, but something's off about that engine. Oh, you're not Duck. I never said I was a bird. Uh, my name's Basil. I'm helping with the important electrification project. Well, I'm James. I help out with important things too. Pleasure to meet you, James. So, you're working on this electable station nonsense? I beg your pardon? Oh, come on, you know what I'm talking about. Every engine on Sodor knows that electrifying this old branch line won't work. It's a waste of time, if you ask me. It's just too steep for engines. I think it's rather exciting. Think of all the new opportunities it will bring to the towns along the line. Of course you would think that, wouldn't you? If I didn't know any better, you actually sound excited to work on this run-down branch line. Well... I wouldn't say it's run down, just need some love and care, that's all. It should stay a goods line. It's a waste of the back controller's resources. Nothing wrong with the way it was before. You don't see me being all electric this and electric that. Well, you brought it up. And what's so efficient about electricity, huh? I was ten minutes early arriving here today, and I didn't need to be an electric engine to do that, now did I? If you were here ten minutes early, you must have been exceeding the speed limit. <laughs> Did you start off late and try to make up for lost time? <laughs> uh, uh, just what would you know about being on time then, hmm? Greasy little diesels like you belong in the yard where they can't cause delays. Now stay off our rails, you little green bugger! Oh, Basil, what's got in you so down? I went to get the supplies like you said, but that James engine was very rude. He said the project is a waste of time and I should be relegated to a yard, because that's all I'm good for. Don't take it to heart. James is often like that. But I was only trying to be polite. Maybe he's right. I should just stay in the yard and work by myself. Ah, well, James just wants everyone to think he's splendid, and you made him look silly. I promise it's nothing to do with you. But he's right, isn't he? I've never had to work on a whole branch line before. Listen, Basil. It's gonna be hard for you to adjust straight away. It's a new place with new faces popping in every day. It'll take time to feel comfortable somewhere new. What is important, though, is that you have us to help you every step of the way. Yeah, I suppose. Maybe in time, I'll be friends with everyone. 
even James. And he has the nerve to call me late after I was early. <laughs> the nerve of that little twep. He's out of line, but he is right. And another thing, something doesn't add up about him too. He seems way too excited to electrify the branch line, like he wants the railway to become electric. Maybe that's why ducks at the steam works, getting all electrified. I knew that accident must have been a cover up. You don't think he's here to spy on us for electric engines? A, a spy? To see what makes us tick. Take out the weak ones and replace us. We have to find out what's going on up there and get to the bottom of this. I think James should investigate. Me? Get Henry to do it! He'll blend in with all the trees up there, being green and all. I'm not going to risk getting electrified because you got shown up by some new engine. We need to think logically. If he's going to spy on us... We'll have to send someone to spy on him. A counter-agent! But who? Someone he'll be comfortable with. Someone he'll let his guard down around. Uh, hello? Stafford, would you fancy doing a favour up the line? Wow! <laughs> Look at all this! Uh, hello? Oh, hello there! Uh, you must be the new engine, right? Yes, uh, my name's Basil! By the looks of those shiny nameplates, you must be Stafford? Indeed I am. <laughs> so, what brings you this way? Oh, um, I, uh... Tell him some nonsense, like the extension is getting too much for just one engine. I was sent here because the work is getting too much, I think. Too much? Oh dear. Oh well, I appreciate the help. It's nice to have visitors once in a while, you know. Oh, you should check out the rest of the line. Something don't seem right about this one either. Does every engine look suspicious to you now, Casey? I tell you, the lot of them are against us. It's a big railway conspiracy. I bet that battery box is here to shut down our operations to prove our cables aren't reliable. And Basil's in cahoots with him. They're here to make us look like dummies. With you, that's not hard. Say, Meg, he relies on charging his battery, right? What if we bust those ports along the line so the battery boy can't charge? And we put the blame on Basil so no one will suspect us. It's foolproof. Wouldn't that ruin everyone's hard work? It's fine. Once we get the spies out, we'll just rebuild them properly without spies breathing down our exhaust. You distract the new guy while I make our move. Distract him? Just keep him busy. Hello. Uh, hello. I'm Megan. I'm Stafford. Well, it's nice to meet you. You run on batteries, right? Well, yes. What sort do you take? Double A or triple A? Uh, well, uh, bigger than that. Maybe one of those big D batteries. Well, it's not that kind of battery. Um. Uh, what is your favourite type of battery? What? Hiya! New engine. Just heard from the foreman that he wants you to uh, take a train of supplies uh, to the next station. <sighs> okay, I'll uh, see you later, Megan.
Sayonara, Spyonara. Oh dear, I'm running low on charge. I know these gradients will be hard on my battery. Uh, excuse me, do you know where I can find the nearest charging port? Uh, there should be one in the far siding. Thank you. Oh dear, that's not good. Um, excuse me? Basil told me these ports were brand new. Ah well, I'm sure there's another one in the next section. The work is getting too much? Too much what? Too much for me? I know I had a few slip-ups here and there, but not enough for Sir Topham Hat to get someone else to replace me. Stafford probably thinks I'm just getting in the way. He has so much more experience on this island. I guess it's back to Barrow for me when this Basil, job is done. Basil, there you are. Have you seen Stafford? He's missing. Missing? But he's only taken a supply train up the branch line. Supply train? What's he doing up there? He was sent to replace me because the work was too much. Replace you? Stafford's not even meant to be here. He's supposed to be in Knapford. He must be in trouble somewhere. Please go and look for him. Will do, sir. Charging ports for the whole length of the line. <laughs> Some electric railway. Now I'm stranded in the middle of nowhere. I can't believe they talked me into coming up here. Wait till I give those big engines a piece of my ma- <laughs> Hello, mate. How did you say? Oh, please just couple up and get me back to the yard. I need to go home. Oh, uh, okay. Sir Topham Hatt has been going mad looking for you. I'm truly sorry, sir. I'll finish up here and then I'll head back straight away. And as for you, Basil, you were here to do a job. If you're tired, you should have asked for help instead of sending an engine not rostered to our section to do it. B but sir, I, I didn't. I don't want to hear it. You'd better start shaping up or I'll ask Sir Topham Hatt to get another engine. One that isn't so lazy. Thanks to those big engines, I'm in deep trouble with a fat controller now. Next time, please make sure your charging ports actually work before sending me up the line. My battery can't take me that far. Broken ports? But they were fine when I put them up this morning. See? Taking down those ports was no big deal. Like I said, they'll just put them back up tomorrow. Now that silly spy's gone. Basil's in hot water. What could be better? Soon it'll just be us running this joint. No silly engines. Just the power crew. Casey! Spy? Basil! Hi! It's, uh... It's not what it sounds like. Not very smart, was it, Casey? Stafford! Oh, please leave me alone. The power crew took down the charging ports, not me. They admit it just as you left. Are you sure? <sighs> I swear on my crankshaft's expiry date. Well, uh, that's a relief. You nearly had me worried for a moment. I know you wouldn't do such a thing. I can tell you're a really hard worker. <laughs> you had me worried as well. I thought you didn't like me after you found out the charging ports were damaged. I thought you were a spy. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was a spy? 
That's what Casey and Megan called you. Well, the big engines told me to be a spy. I was a little skeptical that you were one, but <laughs> it's all cleared up now. Indeed it is, Stafford. I hope we can still be friends. Even if you thought I was a spy, I'd be happy to, Basil. Even if I thought the same for you. <laughs> I think those power lorries will be hearing about their silliness from the foreman. Oh! Oh no! I was so busy racing around all day that I didn't fill up! <laughs> I guess it's my turn to help you! Earth, would you knock down and destroy all our hard work? Sir! I'm sorry, sir! I Unbelievable! Just... One more slip up from you, Casey, and I will not hesitate to have you sent back to the power station. So? What are they planning? Uh, nothing too out of the ordinary. I only help with a few supplies, and that new engine, Basil, oh, he's very friendly. Not a spy at yes, all. Yes, 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 whatever, but were you able to find out what his plan was? I don't think he was planning anything. He's just trying to get his work done. Mm, I don't know. Are you sure about him, Stafford? Trust me, he's the last engine to do any harm to anyone. I still can't wrap my funnel around all this. This electric nonsense is bothering all of us. The idea that the railway could have no steam or even any diesel engines is simply impossible to imagine. There's simply no way they'd have a railway with no real engines. Oh, no offense. Uh, it's alright, Gordon. Basil is fine. Just needs some, uh, getting used to his new home. Oh, and the next time you want me to spy on the electric railway... Get someone else to do it! Silly engines stay out of our business, Megan. They don't know more than we do! You're just upset because you're not in charge. I am not upset! We've just got to find a way to do things the way I want them done. I'm THE expert. Basil doesn't know anything. Basil's doing fine though. Leave him alone. You saw how quick they were to put him in charge? You really want to let the newest guy here tell you what to do? He doesn't even know the station names. I'd have the project done twice as fast if he wasn't around. What are you thinking then? We'll show him how we do things here. The power crew way. He's real easy to read. We make our first move tomorrow morning. Then we'll see who's really in charge.
Yeah.